Our friend Ruben is swinging his engine in his car, or he's gonna. And uh, I just want to give some suggestions on how I would do it. Like I said, just a suggestion. That doesn't mean he has to do it this way. Ruben. Okay. So this is the transmission. I'm going to make this quick. This is the transmission. Okay, what I would do is I would take the mounts off the engine. Okay. I would jack up the transmission as high as it'll go. Don't crush your pan. Okay, so that'll put it on an upward angle. I would swing the motor in until the motor's on there. Put my bolts on. Okay, while the engine's up in the air, I would place something between the um, oil pan and the cross member so if something happens, you know, get crushed. And then I'd go in there and I'd slip the mounts on. And when you go to lower it down, okay, it's going to have to, it's going to come on an arc. So you got those big ugly clamshell mounts, and then you have your other mount, which is probably going to land like right here. That's not going to want to line up. Assuming these are in the right place, you're going to have to get in there and probably pry. Well, actually pry the rubber, but you're going to have to pop them over. Okay, then put it down. When you put them down, these mounts should sit on the tangs of the other mounts, and they should rest on it. Then the bolt should just go right through. You shouldn't have to force the bolt through, but you might have to, depending on if it's... Let me put it this way, if you have to force the bolt through, make sure this rubber mounting cock can go sideways when it's hooked it. That's how I'd do it. Um, but, like I said, putting it in, if you've never done it before, to line this up with these on might be a problem, depending on how, how, how high you can jack up the tranny. But that's the key, you gotta jack up the tranny, put this in, get rid of the jack, I forgot to mention that, get rid of the jack. So now you're holding it up with your engine crane, okay, and the only thing holding your motor and tranny in is you hook to the crane and your back of your tranny mount, and then I'd put these on, but like I said, I'd put something in there just for safety. That's how I would do it. Every car's a little different, and then after that's together, um, obviously it's the starter, and then the head is... Okay, and uh, you know about the torque converter bolts. So, okay. And even if you get uh, like a bolt on the top, bolt on the bottom, bolt on the other bottom, and you snug them to the block touches, make sure the torque converter can spin free at that point. I would check it long before that. Make sure you're not crushing the pump. Okay, when you lower the engine down, you could put the rest of the bolts in. But just make sure that it's fully seated before you continue on. Okay.